Hello and welcome everyone. So I am back with another request and that is saving and loading attributes. So just to show an example, what we'll be doing in this video is if I take damage by going in this sphere, you see my health is decreasing. And if I press a button to save the game, it says game saved. And if I close this and just play it again, you see after a while my saved health is loaded and you can see it's starting from that point onwards okay and now if i don't save the game and play it again it's going to load that same saved game that i had previously okay and it's also replicated if i just change the settings and play this up so both of those players have the same saved health because i was too lazy to add a separate slot for the different players okay and so yeah it's replicated okay so we'll be learning how we'll be creating this in this example okay so i have set up quite a few things over here just to start i i am using the gas associate plugin the version 1.5.0 okay and i have added these attributes of gold breath and herbs okay and i've created this user interface uh, for the character as using interface calls to get the values okay so this is the plugin that i'm using okay and these are the attributes apart from this health mana attack power i have this gold bread and herbs okay and in this level we have these three blueprints that apply the gameplay effect to increase your gold health and gold bread and herbs that doesn't look like a bread but uh, just scroll with it okay and going to our player character we actually see that we have these save game objects that we are dealing with they are used for saving and loading the objects okay so we're going to go ahead inside of our folder i already have this but we're going to start from scratch okay so create a blueprint class and search for save game okay this one and i call this sg underscore tutorial save game okay open this up so now this might look like a regular blueprint but there's a slight difference in this that you have to just have these variables that you're going to save from the game and these variables will be loaded once you load the game okay and just to follow along with the documentation i'll just have that player health i'll link that in the description so we add a few variables to save uh, variables that are going to store our attributes and they're going to save okay if that makes sense Okay, player health and remember these all of these variables are going to be type float because we'll be retrieving the float values of these attributes okay so we have our one for gold okay now let's keep this like this player goals and duplicate this and call this player herbs and player bread okay and we need some additional variables that are mentioned in documents you don't need to create them you can set them up manually but i think it's my practice that they have showed this so it's going to save game slot okay and this is going to be a type string and another variable we have for user index okay and this is going to type integer and it's going to assign a special category to this and it's going to be save game id wars okay and this is also going to go inside of that okay compile and save this okay so i forgot one thing is to set the default values for these variables i'm going to say tutorial save slot and the user index is going to be zero okay compile and save this and now we want to use this to save and load our attributes so going to a character we have these um this one save game object and load save game okay so i'm going to be re-implementing these from scratch okay i'm going to break this from here and drag this over here so what you want to do is just search for create save game object okay this time we'll be using this tutorial save and i'm going to store this into a variable and call this sg underscore tutorial save okay we have missed this okay because this object is going to be actually re referenced for saving as well as loading the save game okay 
so this is done and now we also want to create this one load save game so for this what you want to do is just um, actually I'm going to break this one so we can see how this works so over here what you want to do is just search for load game from slot okay now we have another option that's called a sync load game from slot okay so you can use this one or this one it's totally up to you but i'll be sticking to this one okay and for this these values if you remember we have set this up inside of this variable let me say get slot name save game slot okay i forgot the name and user index this one and we're going to plug this in over here okay so if this is loaded i'm going to say is valid so if this is valid i'm going to say uh, cast to sc underscore tutorial save game casting is bad i know but uh, this is the way that it has been done inside of the documentation so it will be good over here i think okay so if you have cast over here we can do is say um, search for get uh, rather health set health values okay now this is a new function in this version i did show this in my first tutorial of gameplay with system uh you shouldn't be using these you should use gameplay effect instead but just for these kind of initializations i think this is going to work fine okay so from here you can say their health get player health okay so you can similarly save the max health as well but just for the tutorial sake i'm going to keep this simple okay and next i want to set gold value okay so it's going to go like this and from here i'm say gold and get this okay and i also want my bread okay this one and similarly drag out from here and say okay and similarly i want my herbs oops like so and drag out from here and search for this one okay this is done okay so basically it's going to just check this save game variable if we have a valid slot in this save game slot and user index it's going to load these values and then just apply these to our attributes okay and now we also want to save these attributes on a button press so if you see over here i have the setup store attributes now this is bound to my tab key but you can just change this to a event and for example trigger this from a user interface or a menu like that okay the procedure is going to be similar we need this save game instance rather not this one we need to use this one tutorial and say get save game slot and the user index okay and i am going to say save game slot and similar to the load game we also have this async save game to slot okay so you can use either one of these and it's recommended that you use this async save game to slot inside of the documentation okay yeah i forgot that okay so what you want to do is just hook this up like this and it's going to be this one slot name is this user index is this okay so what you want to do is get all of the variables that we have inside of this and store them from our current values okay so what you want to do is just um, go like from say set player health okay this, is this one and this is going to say get health values so we're going to store these now these functions are provided by this plugin gas associate okay and similarly we have this goals set player goals okay let's make room some room and we also have this get goals 
value okay and then we have one for bread now we are going to use the set of function and similarly we have this get bread value okay and also set player herbs and use this like so and say get uh, herb value okay now just to clarify these functions are retrieving the value from the current gaming session from our attribute set that's present on the service system component and all of these variables are present inside of this tutorial save game object that's been created and this is going to save these attributes inside of the save game object in this specified slot and user index okay so after this we can say like print a string and say game save okay and we can also check the status for some reason if it's failing okay but right now i'm not going to do that okay this is it i think and let's go ahead and test out our game so i'm going to overlap this and give ourselves some gold bread and herbs now in real game you would destroy these vectors once you have overlapped and applied the gameplay effect but just for the demo sake i'm doing it like this okay so i have 10 gold 15 bread and 10 herbs okay and my health is at 90. so i press my key it says game saved i'm going to close this up and if i relaunch this okay after some time it has loaded the game okay so a few things i want to point out over here is that i'm actually calling this same game object and load save game on player start begin play of this character so i have this save game object and load save game you might not want to do it this way because you might have a like a main menu where you want to save the game and load the game and create the save game object you should not be doing this inside of the character class okay definitely not in the tech class um the best place i can think of is the game mode i think uh, i think so that's going to be the best place yep game state could be our one uh it's totally up to you okay but just remember you need to create a save game object first of all okay like this and then you're going to use this reference load and save the game okay so i have created this over here and i'm going to be using this for loading the game as well as saving the game okay and save game is just easy you just need to create variables that you want to save so if you want to store for example the mana or if you have some other attributes for your character the location even so you can just create the variable for those and just save them using this method okay now instead of this inputs you can just have a custom event registrar from the user interface and you can use that okay and similarly you can load the game from a main menu or button for example okay and this is the way to do it so i hope this clarifies how you can save and load these attributes and yeah i forgot do not use these functions instead of gameplay effects if you want to change the attributes okay they are just meant for initialization and they do not trigger the post gameplay effect execute function inside of the c plus plus that's used for clamping okay so you can technically just give this a value of 9999 like so okay so it's going to load the value like this okay if we test this okay so you see this so it's not going to take care of the clamping and it's not going to trigger that post gameplay effect execute so just be mindful that just just be careful while using this okay so this is it for this video hope this helps you thank you very much